What up? This is uh, Ty, your Ginger Adventures guide in almost everything. And uh, today we're doing a How to Tie a Tie by Ty. So uh, yeah, we got uh, a couple ties here. I got my skinny tie, that, uh, that's a penguin. I wear this style of tie more often than not, a little slim or skinny. And then also to show you how to tie a, a regular tie, um, on, a, on a skinny or slim tie, I do tie a half Windsor, and on the classic, I will tie a full Windsor. So here we go, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to start with um, collar unbuttoned, flip your collar up, then I button it. It seems to be a little bit easier to button it with it flipped up. Once I have that button, it's a little bit tight, don't love that, but hey, I'm going to go ahead and lay across my neck with on my left hand side is that short end, again, right, left hand side is that short end. For me, it almost hits about perfect, right about that center button is, is the perfect length for me. Um, that's, let's see, that's about... 14, 15 inches, and it varies per tie. Your first step when you go to tie a half Windsor is you're going to take your right hand and lay it over your left. I grab that with my left hand and I kind of bring it up a little bit. From there, you're going to wrap it around. The first, we'll call it the left wing, wrap up and around through and down. At this point, you want to take it and kind of give it a little bit of a tug. Make sure that's kind of nice and tight. That's going to determine the shape of your knot. I then lean forward, pull under with my right. Again, pull under with my right. And I'm just bringing it clear across because this is a half Windsor or half of a full Windsor. From there, once I brought it across, I do align it, make sure that it's looking good. And it is. I'm going to bring it up from behind up and through, up against my throat, push it down through. As you pull away, that, that piece you just pulled in front will create a small hole. You're pushing that down through. And you're going to pull that down. From there, kind of play with the knot, make sure it looks all good. Cinch it up by pulling the this, this small short end underneath. That's not too bad. You want your tie to typically hit right about belt line, and that's about actually about a half inch to an inch too long. Let's go ahead and get in tight on here on the knot. This is a half Windsor. Fold down the collar. Boom. Ready to go. Check it out. One final accessory that uh, I do like to wear with the skinny tie. <laughs> It's just a standard tie clip. I've tried a lot of different tie bars. I don't like them because they uh, typically they're too th too thin. They don't open up far enough. Like this tie clip. This one's actually a little bit long, so it's a little bit wider than the actual tie. I put it right about my sternum. Ready to go. Cuff links, skinny tie, and tie clip. That's how to tie a half. Windsor. Alrighty, well as promised, that was the half Windsor and uh, the other most common knot that uh, you'll see in tying ties is the full Windsor. I, I don't actually tie this anymore at all. I, I, I rarely wear a standard width tie. Um, I'm always wearing a slim tie or a skinny tie. And with those, the, the full Windsor is just too large um, in comparison to the rest of the actual fabric on that tie. But for those of you that are classic, here it is. This is a full 
Windsor. Again, it's that same starting point. Left hand is the short end, and it's right about almost that middle button again. You can't really see. It's right about that middle button. It depends on every tie. You really just have to spend time tying those ties and understanding how long to have your short end, how long to have your tail. We're going to go ahead and take our right hand. We're laying it over the top. I'm going to re-grab with my, my right on that short end, pinching the crossover with my left hand. Again, I kind of readjust, bringing it up. From there, I go ahead, you're going to push it under, leaning forward, pushing it under, bring it up through against your neck, and down. That's going to be on the left wing. I'm going to readjust a little bit, pulling it up closer to my neck, lean forward again, creating that space up and around the right wing, pulling that down. So, so from this point, you now have the shape of your full Windsor. I'm going to go ahead and bring that in front. Now it's laid in front, looking good. Take it up against my throat again, creating a small separation from that piece I just pulled in front and poking it down through. From there you pull out the rest of that fabric and you're going to cinch it on down. From there, you're going to play with it, adjust it. That one on my first try hits about two inches short, which will in turn make the knot a little bit too large. For the purposes of this video, that's alright. It typically takes me a couple tries to get the perfect length. Again, given that each tie is different, they use different lengths of fabric on each one. Take that collar down. You want to give it a full check. And boom. Same thing. Tie bar, or tie clip, rather. Tie clip is much different than a tie bar. Right about the sternum. And there we go. Perfect. If you've never worn a tie clip before, it's a great piece to have not only does it add a little bit of contrast and, and, and class but it does actually hold your tie back when you get moving around working or whatever you're leaning over your tie can fall into your food it can just be a bad deal so just go ahead and spend the money get that tie clip ready to go cool guys thanks so much for watching this is again this is Ty your ginger adventures how to tie a tie guide by Ty Thanks for watching. Uh, please do like it up, thumbs that up, subscribe it up. And uh, as always, let me know what you guys like to see. So uh, thanks so much. Adventure on. Later.